Friends, Not Masters, is a thought-provoking book written by Muhammad Ayub Khan, the former president of Pakistan. In this book, Khan offers a comprehensive analysis of the relationship between the United States and Pakistan during his presidency from 1958 to 1969. The central argument put forth by the author is that instead of treating Pakistan as a subordinate, the United States should have adopted a more equal and respectful partnership with the country. One of the key aspects of Khan's analysis is his emphasis on the historical context of Pakistan's relationship with the United States. He highlights the role of the Cold War in Pakistan's strategic position in the region as significant factors that shape the dynamics between the two nations. Khan argues that the United States, driven by its own geopolitical interests, often treated Pakistan as a mere tool to advance its agenda in the region. This unequal treatment, according to Khan, hindered the development and progress of Pakistan. Khan's perspective is further reinforced by his personal experiences as the president of Pakistan during this critical period. He provides first-hand accounts of various incidents and negotiations, shedding light on the challenges he faced in trying to maintain a balance between the expectations of the United States and the interests of Pakistan. Through these anecdotes, Khan presents himself as a leader who sought to assert Pakistan's independence and national sovereignty, even in the face of external pressures. Furthermore, Khan delves into the economic implications of the relationship between the two nations. He criticizes the United States for its failure to provide sufficient economic aid and support to Pakistan, especially during times of crisis. Khan argues that a more robust economic partnership, based on mutual trust and shared benefits, could have fostered greater stability and prosperity in Pakistan. By highlighting the economic disparities and the lack of adequate assistance, Khan emphasizes the need for a more equitable and supportive alliance. In addition to analyzing the flaws in the United States approach, Khan also acknowledges the mistakes made by the Pakistani government itself. He recognizes the importance of internal reforms, good governance, and self-reliance as essential components for Pakistan's progress. Khan's introspection adds nuance to his argument, showcasing his understanding of the complexities involved in shaping a nation's destiny. Overall, friends, not Masters, is a passionate plea for a more balanced and respectful relationship between the United States and Pakistan. Through his analysis, Khan challenges the dominant narrative of Pakistan's subservience to the United States and calls for a re-evaluation of the power dynamics between the two nations. The book serves as a valuable resource for anyone interested in understanding the intricacies of international relations, the challenges faced by developing countries, and the importance of fostering genuine partnerships based on mutual respect and shared interests.